Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new episode of Shingeki no Bahamut Virgin Soul, or you could call it Rage of Bahamut Virgin Soul on episode 22. Now, this episode right here, it was actually pretty simple as I said it, and anytime when I make a certain recap or something, I'll always say that because, like, um, there was not a lot I could really explain, or maybe a lot I could really summarize, but if anything else, let's go. We have to it that, um, Jean Dark is leading the forces to King Shariosa's castle along with like where the city is held. While many innocent lives are evacuating, we had to it that Nina and Favreau decide to go to Eobos to see what the heck is going on. We had to it that Kaiser tries to tell Jean the truth about what happened to her son and he tries to convince her like despite everything that's been happening, don't spill any other unnecessary blood. Everything is already starting to look really bad right now. However, John does not listen to reason. She is already consumed by vengeance and from the moment that King Shiloh decided to go after her son L and herself, it was not looking so great. Therefore, she continues her march, etc. to one place here and there. While Nina and Favreau ends up ends up entering Aeobos and they realize what the heck is going on, even Favreau himself. And those of you guys who watched the Shingeki no Bahamut Season 1 will understand what the hell is going on. And especially if you're up to date with the latest episode, which you should be along with many other things. If anything else, I mean, I don't know what else other excuse for you, why would you not be up to date with the latest episode, especially today's episode. Even though Nina easily overpowers King, King Shariosa's body, bodyguards and especially him her himself she could not cut off his arm but apparently after that king shari also chris continues his um his his plan and faro asks him so this really involves the bahama this entire time huh i'm gonna ask you one question what are you gonna do with this thing when you resurrect this thing the old man who's been working with King Sherios explains his plan explains about what the plan was was to resurrect the 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 evil destruction the god of destruction because it's really simple that way because Bahamut is a destruction of all things and destroy and destroy it once and for all and he explains to Favreau how like the seal will eventually break and come out come on out about and Favreau seems to understand the situation after he, after the old man explains it to Favreau. But Favreau goes like, you do understand picking a fight with the gods is a big mistake, right? It's really going to make things worse and ugly than, where, than it is right now. And of course, like, um, that led up to the point where, um, Chris or Shario still continues his plan. He is to destroy and kill Bahamut. And Varol says, what are you going to do after that? Are you really going to die? And King Sharios confirms it, confirms it by saying, Ever since then, my mother got killed by the Bahamut, and I decided to take up this goal to kill the Bahamut. This is my destiny, my fate. I decided this myself. So don't get in my way. And the moment they broke the seal, the Bahamut ends up showing itself and causing much damage once more. Even Farol says it's been like 10 years ever since etc. Right now, like, um, things, I'm gonna get very hectic from here on now. And, you know, I did watch a friend's video about, like, and why he didn't call for help back then. But I guess maybe because, like, I guess he wants to do things his way. Otherwise, like, um, you wait till the last minute and try to slay the Bahamut. It's only gonna cause much more ugly, ugly results, like the extermination of all life itself. So, Maybe we don't really know the answer to that, but yeah. Pretty crazy here and there, and seeing what King Sharios was doing the entire time, I had a feeling it had to be involved with the Bahamut, possibly, because, like, um, if he really wanted to destroy everything, I guess he could have done it easily, but I guess he wanted to destroy the Bahamut that it could rise once more and cause much trouble and ruckus again. So until then, I'll see you guys in my next video, so I'm off for zero, people. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, right? Peace out. Bye-bye. Toot-toot-toot!